Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for the host for, for having us here. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure to be involved in this tournament. Congratulations also to the coaches beside me for qualifying for this tournament, which is uh, a fantastic achievement by all. And we wish you all the best. Uh, we arrived in Chomburi two days ago. Um, so we are, we're looking forward to this challenge. Of course, uh, we would like to qualify for the World Cup which would provide extra international experience and exposure for these players who have, uh, particularly since the hiatus due to COVID, have, have missed a lot of international football. Uh, so this is an opportunity for our players to experience that more. And, uh, of course, qualifying for the World Cup would be a great achievement. And uh, the, the main aim after that would be to win the tournament. No other Australian junior team has ever won a major tournament uh, like the AFC Cup. So uh, that would definitely be uh, a target for us. We've selected a purely domestically based squad. So every player that is, that is here that in the 23-man squad um, is domestically based within Australia. We do have a good um, spread of players around the country, such as New South Wales, as you mentioned, Victoria, Adelaide, South Australia, WA and Queensland. So the majority of the states are represented from Australia with the players and uh, I'd like to think that that would uh, encourage a lot of uh, support from um, not only the families that may be travelling to, to watch the team and support the team but also back home in Australia uh, when the games are televised. Clearly this is one of the toughest groups in the tournament. Uh, we met China in the qualifiers and they gave us a very tough match. Uh, and I expect them to have improved over the last nine months, as, as will the other teams as well. Um, of course, we know that Saudi take these uh, tournaments very seriously and invest heavily in youth football. And uh, I'm aware that Tajikistan were the finalists of the last edition of this tournament back in 2018. So um, we expect a very tough tournament. The group stage is going to be the hardest group stage to get through. Uh, but I believe uh, in our group of players and I believe if we play to our strengths that we, we can achieve our targets. Yeah, since uh, qualification last October, uh, we assembled a team in February. We were able to play three international friendly matches, a domestic camp in April for five days. Um, and then we were working with an extended squad of about 28 players uh, for a short time prior to arriving in Chomburi two days ago. Um, yeah, look, I understand that um, Saudi invest heavily and, as I've just mentioned, invest heavily in youth football and have been successful in uh, underage tournaments such as the, the previous uh, or last year's under-23 AFC Asian Cup. Um, we, of course, from our point of view, um, have um, done a little bit of our homework on the opposition, on their lead-up and... Uh, it's interesting to see how many games that they've played. They've had a, a lot of friendly matches leading into this and obviously taking the tournament very seriously. So for me, Saudi are a powerhouse in Asia and uh, I expect a very challenging match from them.